What do you mean you've done it all black? Look at that smart <laughs> Got me little thing there. <laughs> Alright guys, Roger. welcome to the channel. We're just um, going to do a bit of ferreting this weekend. Because of the seasons the way they are. Um, like the first trip really, just go up and suss, suss the land out again. And uh, get the dogs into it a bit, you know. Get a few rabbits for the freezer as well really. Got a bit low for the old bird and that, so. Yeah, I'm just going to put uh, a few clips together. See what we get really, innit? Yeah. Got to take me old man. Because it is his birthday, so it's his birthday treat. His birthday treat, for it, innit? Night out in the van. We're going to camp in the van. 38 last week I was, already. <laughs> <38. laughs> there you go. So yeah, we'll uh, put some uh, clips together we'll let you know and see how we get on. As well, which is nice. It's nice to have a nice looking dog as well as a worker. Yeah. I don't have to come by them days. He was just the old Russell, so that's what he yeah, was. Yeah, that's it. He he oh yeah, that. he didn't have a stamp like... You know, even like Mount Malk's line and all that, they're nice, tidy. You know, they started reading up, so they show in the cupboard and nice little square boxy type. Yeah. But we had a new line, little sausage dogs. One man said, look at him coming out of the kennel. <laughs> His head had come out and then he said, count to 20 and he's fucking my kennel come out. <laughs> Run along. Yeah. We had some fun and that's all we did. We just used to have him on a bit of string. We couldn't even afford fucking leads proper. <laughs> I made a couple out of uh, some of that blue, blue roll, no the loops. Yeah. I had a little Jess and Candy on that, thought it was great. Walking through Civic with my wellies on a bit of wax gold. My ferry box, you know, going riding on the street. Yeah. What was the first box you dug with Jess though? The first one was... How um, oh, old was she then? Must have been. Oh yeah, she's South Africa. Do you know what it was? We, we took this lad out. We worked with Andy, with, with Andy McRae, he worked at the post office in Manchester, like town in Manchester. So it was Dave Roberts' cousin, uncle he was, my cousin. And that's how we met him through the, anyway, that day he said, oh my mate, me, me uncle's mad on it, he loves a day out. So, so Andy said, yeah, you can have a day out, but it's no problem. So he come down to that, anyway, a long story short. So we ended up going in um, Archer's Wood, back in the road for there. So we goes in a little candy fucking mark there on this bank. So we put the, the nets on, you know, rabbit nets. About ten hole or whatever, and he stood on the bank and I'm stood above the rabbit warren. Yeah. And then Andy, Andy said to me, uh, hey where's Russ? Have you seen Russ? I said last time I seen him was that when we come through the gate at the top of the field. Where that I said, where do you mean? I said at the top where that bit of a tip is on the right, left hand side. Yeah. I said, I've seen him fucking about round there. But I've not seen him since, you know, because we dropped into the wood then. Yeah. So he said, oh, I'm fire. And he said, I'll go, he's probably fucking about after rats or something, or he's a rabbit in the tip. Yeah. So he run back up the edge. Anyway, he come back, he said, Steve, he said, he's barking, barking at something. He never barked at a rabbit in his life. Yeah. And I said, oh, he'd be on a Charlie, he'd be on a fox. So we left this lad to wait for the ferry. Yeah. I went back, we left left Candy there with this lad. <laughs> and I, I went back with Jess. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, he's there being right in the middle of this tip. Yeah. So I let Jess off and we were both on it then. And it was like, he's like behind an old fucking water tank. Yeah. And you know the water tank, it gone rusty out the bottom. Yeah. We sort of poked the, poked the shovel, you know, the spade through. And there's a fox on a little, on a little, Legs like that and strike it down at the little vix and it was striking down at the uh, two Russells. Well, that was her first fox, so yeah. she's probably about 18 months really. Because yeah. I didn't, we, you know, I never really bothered, I never went for foxes. More for, more for rat and rabbit, that's all I did. Well, Phil and that, they, they reckon that they must have had about 300 foxes with her over her life, which is not a lot for a lot of these lads, but yeah. for me, for me, it was in them days. Fucking you know, hell. over the you know, because don't forget we was going out Saturday, Sunday and any week through the, you know. Yeah. A lot of foxes, aren't it's a lot of, Yeah, I bet, I, I, I bet we've had about, I bet we had about 300, you know. Because he used to, the only reason I know that, because Andy, he was brilliant Andy, to be fair. Not many of us liked him because he was dead clued up. He, he was the one who took me plumbers and he got the, got the lurcher on plumbing and all that. But he showed me his little book and it was great. He had a little book and he used to, he used to get it from the post office. Every day, every hunting trip, lamping and everything. If it was lamping, he'd have a little flag blowing like that. That windy and that's a good night. Or red letter day or red letter. And everything what he did, he put in that. You know what I mean? Every every day. So I know 
when I used to towards the end when 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 she was getting on and we used to go out on the Sunday get it in and Saturday whatever and then we'd go in the pub on the Sunday night then yeah. we'd talk about it all day well, oh, great day you know and he, he used to have that little book with him one little thing yeah? and every day that's what he'd write in what we did how many things and, and it was 200 nod in that little thing that he said we've had 200 nod foxes for these two we mustn't they were great to you but I mustn't yes yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and Russ was a cracking dog but he was owned by a lad who who put him on a he put him on a badger at like six months with a dog behind, you know, yeah. behind him and he got pushed and got battered. So he, he sold it he sold it Andy for twelve quid. Yeah. He was just a little kid on it, he said, Yeah, you want one for a bit of rabbit and he sold it for twelve quid. And I was going out with Andy for three years before that dog went and that first fox under in that tip. So it took him three years to, to get that fifty back. Yeah. The flight to never going to ground he was. Yeah. Because he'd been put, you know, as a pup. Oh yeah. 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 So it, it was like three. Yeah. He was like three years when they, before he before he ended. Well, Andy had him three years before he ended on a fox, and he self ended. And there was weeks before that we was coming back home, and there was always this field, and it had a it had a land an nine inch land drain. And years down the line, I think Colin Hussey had had a fox out of it. So it, it broke into this pot pipe, and we always used to walk this dike. And this coming home one night, and this was uh, when I thought about it, it was in the pub. I said, Look, oh, can I remember that a few months back when we was coming home and he drops in that fucking pipe and he was back and you were going mad at him because he was coming up fucking yeah. yeah. I said, I bet he was on a fox then, but we didn't even because we didn't do foxes. Yeah, yeah. I said, Thinking about it now, yeah. he'd probably gone in and on, on his own steam. Yeah. yeah. And it was a little fox in there, but we never, the dogs never went to ground, you see. Yeah. The just never went to ground, weren't allowed to. Yeah. And that, that's how I learned, because once she, once she was on fox, because I always predicted the rabbit in all the time. So as soon as she whimpered, I tied her up, and I knew there was, she was on a dog, rabbit in here, you put your wages on it. Yeah. But what happened then, once she started on, she, she'd done a few foxes, I thought. And when she went to ground, slowly, gingerly, like that, then I knew, I said, yeah, we're on a fox here. Because she'd never go to ground on rabbit, ever. Yeah. She just used to cry out the old, because she used to get a good hiding. <laughs> yeah. So we Yeah, so, when she went to ground, you'd back your money to fucking run a fox here. Yeah. And that's what it was with her. I mean, she wasn't a will be or anything, but she did what I wanted. Yeah. That's what you wanted. You'd never win a show or anything. Right, 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 right. They're great, just for anything. She went to ground in chestnuts when she died. Yeah, it? yeah. We was ferreting, and she was that that old, because my mate Phil G used to call her the, the, the bag woman, because he used to have an old post bag with all his nets in. Yeah. So when we're netting up, you put the post bag down, she used to get her and turn down, and she'd, she'd say, look at that, I've even got it on video, look at old Jess, the bag lady, she used to call her. She used to sleep in the little bag in all three winter. Yeah. She's dead old, man. And that's when it was ferret in this bank. I tell you where it was on the Colonel's, Mr. Yeah. Metcalf's. And there's a little stream, and we ferret in this bank. And it's weird, she, she got up off the, the old net bag. You know, once we'd netted up, she knew her job was to find a rabbit. Yeah. So we'd put the nets down, and she was there, and, and we were both waiting for the, you know, the rabbit to bolt and put the ferret in and whatever. And all of a sudden, Phil said, Look at Jess here, and she walked down the bank, sort of paddled through, only little tiny little stream, up the bag, you know, and just went into this big sandy earth, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I said, fucking hell, there's a fox there. Eh? So what happened? I went, oh, fucking hell, she's not got a collar on her now. So, what she, she sort of come out, stood there for a bit, as if to say, Dad, we're on, you know, yeah. Dad, how yeah. you play? That's what feels. She sort of come to tell her we're on a fox here. And by the time I jumped over, she'd come back in. Yeah. So I couldn't get a collar on her, so. And that was the last I seen of her. Oh, yeah. now. And we went back, we went to Little Bry's, uh, Colin Hussey's, went everywhere with another terrier brought. And then that's when Colin said, oh, well, a lot of dogs won't go to ground if there's a dead dog in there, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. you know, we couldn't get a dog to go down and see, it's just a big old sand. We dug fucking all day, all Sunday, three of us, went back Monday, nothing, left me coat there and all that for, you know, the old wax coat. Yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> You know, for her to sleep on, yeah. a bit of food, dead, nothing. Couldn't have rabbit over it, you know, I thought, well, I can hold it. So she'd probably just died, you know, but... Yeah. 
to tie to him watch you lot, didn't it? And then it did go there for a few years. Anyway, it went there about a month later. And I had, unknown to me, Phil G made a little plaque. Yeah. And he just put old yes through to the end and that well done. Oh, well, what a game, yeah. Nice, because he just didn't get any. He even brought the brass screw because he said, brass won't go. You know, yeah, that's how it was. And an old screwdriver and he screwed it to the base of the tree as he went in. Not if it's still He just put, he just did it with his Dremel thing. Because he was always messing about, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good at that. Make everything, wasn't yeah. he? Traps and everything. All his nets, all handmade nets. And he just put all the yes through to the end. And I thought, well, that's fitting now, that's great. Because he didn't know what days, how long it happened, you know, when I got the body, he just put that on him. Yeah. And he said, yeah. And then when I looked, I thought, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Some stories there for you. No, really, it's not because he's been it, has he? No, but it's funny how he's on the floor, but he was just like as if he was eating a no doing that there. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. Yeah, he just had a mouse on it. He's just had a mouse. Landed on the thing there, see? Yeah. On that. There you go, it's out with the uh, catapults, see if we can get a few. <laughs> we got all the way here and forgot the ferrets. <laughs> so, how about that? <laughs> I thought my dad put him in, he put, he put him in. Oh, okay, no. So it's there we go, that's been, fucked it up. Would be better off leaving the dogs? Yeah. Knackered no out of ferrets. But fucking hell, can't believe that. Oh. Some chavvy. So I'll probably uh, have a little bit of a lamp anyway. And uh, I'm going to try and invite a few um, friends up this way, see if they uh, can bring a few ferrets. But uh, we'll tap the permission up anyway for um, next next few times, so... Well, yeah, I'm going to set up uh, the van, have a beer, go and uh, give the dogs a lamp. So there you go, top tip, don't forget your ferrets. There you go. Yeah, drinking, drinking your ale. Cheers, my dear. <laughs> Cheers. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Nine, nine, year, nine, year, nine or ten, ten year old dog running there on, on you know, big Yorkshire rabbits uphill. Oh, the hell. Seven rabbits. Sure, she's ten. It must be because Lil's twelve. Yeah. And I've read her when she was two. But um, obviously, a bit, well, a few hills and that. And oh, easy enough to good. bounce them off the walls, really, if you can, but... You know. You'd mop up with a 23-inch... Oh, yeah, it's proper it. lurch, dogs. You'd, um, you'd have, have a field, though. You wouldn't need a ferret, then. 50 <laughs> rabbits, wouldn't you? Yeah. Up here. There we go. Get ourselves a pork pie in a minute. And you get some shut eyes. <sighs> So if there's anyone out there who fancies a bit of ferret in <laughs> yeah. the Dales, I'll sit it. I'll sit it. Phone us tomorrow. Oh dear. Can't get a signal. <laughs> there you go. Looked like a movie fired. We've done on a dream that he put the ferret in. The only one copy didn't, so... <laughs> no. I'm gonna get some breakfast. <sighs> it's done now, but rain all night, so. That's what I'm saying, you want to be out in the region. No, I don't think, think um. I don't think it would be much good just pushing up, really. So, we're gonna get some breakfast. And, uh. 
make a plan from there, really. Except, all right. Bouncing down now. Stick a few eggs on the, bur the burger bagels. Stop raining now a bit. Yeah, video me. Only <laughs> 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 oh. thing you didn't bring was any red sauce. Well, gonna have uh, a bit of a mooch. See one of the, the landowners. Just gonna have a walk around really. See if we can push a few out on the reeds. See what's about. Uh, obviously, there was a lot like looking at last night on the lamp. So, no doubt it'll be uh, the same as it has been. You know, last last year and the year before. So. But I've uh, got my cat here, got the dogs. See what we can find, it stopped raining a bit. So we'll uh, see if we can bush up a few. There you go. I only hope there's no mixy, I think they may. Looking at that one. Yeah. Bloody hell. Well, that's a shame. Couple with mixy. The rest, last. Ah, uh, yeah. Last nights were clean though. Yeah. You got a dog who's back and you and you forget you fed it. Got one here, Dad. Get it. Did you get it? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay then. Wait, there's up. <laughs> Get on it. Get rid of walls. Yeah, blow, 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 blow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wait. Got one. Another one there. <laughs> Fucking hell going. Put those on that. Look at the old, look at the old dog there. Oh, one in the wall here. But uh <coughs> felt like it's just, just be aware obviously you don't want to be damaging the walls for the farmer. Blow, give me you. See if we can have a look at it, but sometimes <clears throat> to right underneath. Come out, come out. Bad little walk around the that's just the one field really. Uh one mixing rabbit, but the rest I don't see any more. Obviously marking a lot of places. Bit of nose work from him, pushed a few up, caught a few. Bit one up the wall, two out the reeds and there we are. Yeah. A lot more with a ferret. There we go, nice little moot. They're not doing too bad, so we've got no ferret. Now, have another cup of tea, make a plan. There we are, I met one of the local lads. See if he reckons he's done a rabbit catching for 20 years with the rifles. What did he say? He had 270 odd one night. But we got uh, my last Jess coming up with a, a couple of ferrets. A uh, big old ferret and a, a little Jill. So she'll be here in an hour, so birthday pint. For the old granddad. <laughs> oh, get him. Silly. Here we are, guys. We've got Jess Phillips come up with some ferrets because we've been keeping them for hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. So I've got a cracking place for bringing him on. Oh, that's it. There's um, Irish Terrier. Whip him. Scout them out, see what we can get. There you go, just got a little bit of a mark. Just take the little gel in, give the dogs a run first off. There you go, nice little catch by Blue. Downhill, downhill run. Nice. 
Nice. Hi, <laughs> cracker. There you go, he's, he's caught all three from this warren, that dog. The whole bitches are slacking there. Is it three, three we've had out of here, yeah? You've on your side. We just bolted one in here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yes, he's really got it. Where is he? Is it back down, has it all through? She's got it. I can pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> got him. She got him. He's <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, got mark out Nice little mark under the tree. Just putting the old uh, little gel in. We've not not really putting that down really up to now, but the young dog there, the Iris Terry's been snapping them up for fun. Squirrel. <laughs> Shine wind. I think they've just caused one to uh, the wall. So Jess has got a uh, little girly hand, you see, you can get into the walls and pull them out. No, not doing too bad, not really laid a net, we've just bolted into the dogs, really. And uh, there's been a few mixy, still quite a few numbers on here, so. Kind of place you can sort of ferret it in another few weeks. They just sort of filter up from from the tops end of the year. <laughs> Love this little dog. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a bit tired now. I'm staying a bit unfit this time of year, but it's all good fun. Still a lovely rabbit, them. 
bushes right up to the top he turns it caught it on the run just on the rush here better mark it down the bottom yeah cracking run that just had a double bolt there but the uh always keep the dogs Had a cracking run right down here it went and the two young well, I say flow and the younger putt was on it and she turns it but uh Jess noticed a load of barbed wire in the corner and she just she hit it so I think she'll be alright <laughs> nah, she's alright oh, there's a lot of fluff coming off it but I think it was the sheep fluff that was already on there but there we go Shout out to Jess Phillips for coming down with some ferrets. Yeah. It would have been a bit visible otherwise. We've got a big old ferret there which we collared. And then a nice little gel here. But to be fair, we didn't even dig to him, did we? We started to dig one and then he started yeah, yeah. bolting out, so. a couple of mixes but some good running on them still so there we are we had uh, 15 in the end really not bad considering we didn't well we didn't take the nest but we didn't use it and we didn't even um dig one out we went to dig one didn't we but they ended up bolting so considering um the dogs caught them all uh, the young dog there caught probably obviously the majority really and i think i've got some good clips on the footage and um yeah, cracking dog. Cracking bit of work from the ferrets. The whole bitch uh, is getting hungry. So I'm going to um, give her a bit of food. We'll go and get our food, some, some food with cells and then probably go out for a bit of a lamp then tonight. But not a bad little do really for a few hours. There we go, just come to Richmond town. Get a bit of food. And uh, relax for a bit then. Seen a few of these about. Little lad jugs. Going about his daily business or nightly business. There we go, just give her a few runs tonight because she's a bit stiff. We had four rabbits. Each had about six runs maybe. And they're all clean, so. Yeah, good um, bit of nights, a bit calmer tonight. So, yeah. So I think that I think we've had about thirty-four now, haven't we? That thirty with yeah. fifteen today, fifteen from the other night, and then four tonight. Yeah. I hit a few with a catapult, but no joy in retrieving them really. So there we go. Same. There we go. What a nice sleep again in the van. <coughs> just having a coffee and uh, it's quite a nice morning but I think basically what we're going to do is just have a well I'm just going to have a quick meet with the dogs really see if we can catch a couple in the reeds again as um, they're a bit tired and that from yesterday and 
I think then we're going to uh, head, head back then really, seeing the landowners and stuff so we can tap them up ready for for the winter in the up and coming months. So, Your man's just going to gonna have a little snooze for a bit. We'll give the dogs a bit of a mooch, you can watch me from the van. You will. A bit, a bit stiff, the old ones. But we'll see if we can knock a few up. The old girl's got a couple in here, I think. And, uh, enjoy this hunting up. Got a bit of graft, got a bit of nose work for the dogs. That's what it's all about for me. Oi. You got it? <laughs> the only thing with the, uh, the little whippets, it's not quite got the height to see, like the bigger lurchers. There we go, yeah. Shut up, Lil. There we go, pulled it out the wall. Nice big buck, he looks like he's overcoming a mixy. Another one in the wall, but I need smaller hands. So there we go, I managed to get it. And uh, obviously, put, put the stuff back in the walls. Because you know, landowners spend a lot of time repairing these. There we go. We're tired now. We're going on a bad walk. Three bunnies. Dogs have had a bit of a stretch. And uh, got packed up and start heading home now. <laughs> what you got there, Mars Bar? <laughs> Snickers. Like a few nuts. There we go then, we had a good little trip really. We yeah, had um growing back. Yeah, it's growing back. Yeah, isn't it? There's your flat cap. Mm -hmm. Then have a flat cap in New York, yeah. No, it's a good little trip really, considering we yeah, I forgot the bloody ferrets. Uh, some do that. But no, uh, thanks to Jess Phillips coming out uh, yesterday with a couple of ferrets, got a little ferrets really. A cracking little dog. Caught quite a few. Uh, I look through the videos, I don't know if I've got that much of the catches on. Um, you know, you know yourself it's hard trying to film everything and you get a bit excited. I've got a few on there and you can see obviously the dogs working and stuff so and uh, like I say I think we had 30, we had three this morning, I think about 36, 37 um, which isn't too bad really, there's a bit of mixy about which is a shame but hopefully like we've noticed you know in the, the cold, the cold the weather will just sort of clear it through hopefully you know a lot of them will overcome it and uh, live to fight another day really so uh, but we've seen the, the lad now for the um, you know, another few trips up here and uh, hopefully have some good uh, sessions really. So there you go, it's been a good little bit of a camping trip after my dad's birthday and all that. Enjoyed it. And a uh, nice little start really? to the season, get the dogs a bit fitter now and um, yeah, go from there really. So hope you enjoyed the video, hit like, share and subscribe and all that. And uh, happy hunting season, we'll get back to you soon with some more videos. So we'll see thee. See thee. <laughs> <laughs>